Hello everyone and thanks for watching Skinny's channel. Today I have a go-kart that I bought for my kids out in Craigslist and I am going through getting it all together. So um, it did not come with a motor so I got a Predator 212 I'm putting on. I got a, a little $20 clutch off of eBay and yeah so here's the go-kart. Um, definitely putting different wheels and tires on the back. I was happy that I had a live axle. Uh, looks like about a 55 tooth sprocket on there. Um, I took it out, went up the driveway, and within 10 feet, the motor just sank right there on the motor plate. It's got a little bend in it. And so now I got to cut a new motor plate, see uh, what all it takes to get this thing back out there, and have some fun, get it governed and set up for my kids. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on cutting the steel. Alright, so never cut steel like this before with this saw, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so there's the old motor plate and a new one. Oh man, that about fits perfect. Yeah, you can see frame goes right there. So about nailed it on how far to make those slots. Obviously there's blue under there, but that'll disappear when I take out that plate. Line that up, see if the motor fits, uh, which requires two hands. How's my jack look? We have the ability to get those bolts in. All right, hopefully you got a good view from there. I'm gonna get this seat pulled off and cut the old motor plate out so we can get the new motor plate welded in. Thank you. 
pretty easy. grinding on this side and we'll be done. And I can hear that my son just woke up on the baby monitor. So it's gonna be very quick and I gotta go get him up from his nap. plates on. I think it's time to put this thing back together and take it for a test drive. All right, so as you can see here, I uh, changed out the rear tires on the go-kart. I, uh, I needed an excuse to put a torque converter on there. Um, as you can see, the $20 eBay clutch is no longer on there. It got smoked very quickly after putting those tires on. So, I'm going to make another video where I put that torque converter on and mount those tires, which are a little bit smaller, on there. And maybe change out these 5.8 steering spindles for the 3 quarter inch spindles that are on this bent up free Craigslist cart. Um, that is so bent it'll probably never get ridden again. But, uh, yeah. So... I've got this a uh, little bit more going on here. 
but I might have another project that jumps in place. I have a Yurf Dog Rover that has the GY6150cc engine on it, and it just needs a lot of help. Um, so yeah, I, m I might be putting a video up of that thing, pulling the motor out, changing the uh, starting clutch, and basically rebuilding the entire swing arm on it because it's it's cracked, it's broken, it jumps chains. Um, yeah, so that project might come in next. But thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see any of these other projects, please subscribe, like, tell your friends, and I will continue to make more videos of projects. Um, another one will be coming soon, hopefully. I have a broken ring land on a Subaru STI. Um, so it's not the first time. And I hope it's the last time. We're going to put some forged pistons hopefully in. Um, I have another block in the junk heap. Let's see. In shrink wrap right there, I have my old... Subaru block that is missing a piston because the ring lands broke and that project is going to have to come up here pretty soon. All right. Thanks for watching.